WrestleMania weekend is the coolest week for any wrestling fan. It is filled with so much wrestling, signings, and just overall electricity. At this point, I've done five WrestleMania weekends. And this year, I'm gonna be going to WrestleMania 35 in New York, my favorite city in the whole wide world. Anyways, I'm gonna be sharing with you my ultimate guide to WrestleMania weekend, featuring tips on how to plan, save money, and must-do events. The first thing you must consider is what type of trip is this? Is this 100% wrestling or 50% wrestling and 50% sightseeing? This depends on who's going with you, have you been to the city before, and what do you want to get out of this trip? Once you narrow this down, it will be a lot easier for you to plan your trip. For me personally, I enjoy doing 75% wrestling and 25% sightseeing because I'm a geek and I love to try new things. Once you figure out the theme of your trip, the next big question is, what day should you arrive? For past WrestleMania weekends, most events really kick off Friday. So I would normally do Thursday through Tuesday, but because this year I wanna do more sightseeing, I am doing Wednesday through Monday. Flights, tickets, hotels, oh my! Buying your flight tickets earlier means you have a better chance of getting a cheaper ticket. Booking your hotel earlier means you get better options at a lower price. I'm all about budgeting and getting the most while spending the least. So if you're anything like me, instead of going straight to booking a fancy hotel, I would suggest checking out Airbnbs or hostels. To be honest, I've stayed at all three of these in the past and there isn't that much of a difference in quality, but there is a big difference in pricing. WrestleMania tickets normally go on sale in November, so I suggest you purchase your flight and hotel during October, November. It also gives you a good five to six months of saving for your actual trip. Google map everything. Google Maps will be your bestie. Buying WrestleMania tickets. Just get your tickets ASAP during the pre-sale. WrestleMania tickets don't usually sell out. You can always get a ticket, but if you want to get good seats at face value, then just do it when they first go on sale. It also takes away the stress. Now, the fun part. What shows will you be attending? Like I said at the top of this video, there are so many shows running during WrestleMania weekend. It's the biggest influx of wrestling fans all in one area, ready to spend money and have a good time. So obviously, the top promotions and other smaller indies are going to want to run a show. The good thing is most promotions let us know way in advance that they're running a show during WrestleMania weekend, so it gives you plenty of time to decide what you want to see. Pick the shows you want to see, buy the tickets ASAP when they go on sale, put them on a Google spreadsheet. I am so ridiculously annoying about Google spreadsheets, but to be honest, I use them every year and they help out so much. So I honestly suggest that you keep one handy. Also, a lot of people have asked me in the past for a copy of mine, and no lie, I take pride in that. I do. I lay out the dates, use a variety of colors to make it easy to read, and schedule my sightseeing and eating schedule with the help of it. Another mini tip is to create a separate folder in your email. Nothing is worse than scrolling through emails trying to find your tickets to print out before the events. So have them and everything you need for your trip all in one place. Alright, so you may be wondering, well Denise, with all of these awesome events happening during WrestleMania weekends, how do I know which ones to go to? Don't worry! I gotcha. So here we go. I'm going to name you guys some events that I attend every year and every year they are super good and I absolutely enjoy them. And I'm also going to tell you which ones you have to attend specifically for this upcoming WrestleMania. WWE Access. This interactive fan event is my most favorite of the week. I love it because there are tons of photo ops, a lot of merch to look at, and so many different things to try. Go to this event for fun pictures and for an electric experience. Nothing beats walking into WWE Fan Access. They make it grand and no lie, it gets you super hyped. Tips and things to know. Buy the clear bag at the Superstore. Don't expect to meet lots of wrestlers since lines do get long. Unless you buy VIP, you're not meeting any of the top stars. Expect to buy stuff at the Superstore. There's so much to look at and most of it costs a pretty penny. And you only really need to do one session. You can get a lot done in one session. NXT TakeOver. You don't need me to tell you that NXT TakeOver is bound to be a great show. 
If you're planning on going to the show, get your tickets ASAP because they will sell out. Raw After Mania. For years, Raw After Mania has been said to be one of the best Raws of the year. If you've never been to a Raw After Mania, I suggest you do it at least once. What is happening this year? Now for WrestleMania 35 in New York, I suggest you check out these events. Game Changer Wrestling, Josh Barnett's Bloodsport. It's the most unique event of the weekend. Knockout or submission only. Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling has been putting on a great show for the past year. Expect no difference. WWN Mercury Rising. WWN started the whole WrestleMania weekend thing for indie promotions and they always put on a great show. Dragon Gate. Dragon Gate makes their U.S. return at WrestleCon. Joey Janela Spring Break. The wildest party of the weekend with some of the most fun matchups. DDT. This is the U.S. debut of Japanese promotion DDT. NXT TakeOver. All the TakeOvers have been amazing. Really? Do I have to sell you on this one? New Japan Pro Wrestling and Ring of Honor G1 Supercard. The first wrestling show in over 50 years not promoted by a McMahon held at the legendary Madison Square Garden. Need I say more? And obviously, WrestleMania. Duh. Now for some more quick random tips. If you don't want to spend lots of money on transportation, schedule which events you're attending based on location. Don't overpack. You're going to want to buy merch. Trust me. Parking for WrestleMania is always expensive. Plan to spend between $40 to $60 daily, depending on the city. Lyft and Uber always surge right after a major wrestling event. My tip is for you to wait and walk as far away as you can from the venue for a lower price. Wow, that was a lot of information. But then again, it is my ultimate WrestleMania weekend guide. Guys, I seriously, seriously hope that this video gave you tons of information and hopefully it helped you out. If it did, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any other tips that maybe I haven't forgotten or if you have any questions that maybe I didn't answer in this video, please also drop them in the comments below because I will be looking at that and I will be answering people's questions. Also, if this video helped you out, make sure to give it a like. Share with your WrestleMania buddy or your WrestleMania date, whomever. Share it with them, tag them, you know the drill. Also, please, please, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. As always, come join my little family. And then, oh, I have something else for you. Yes, follow me on Twitter at underscore Denise Salcedo for my WrestleMania weekend adventure. Wow, Woo, that was a lot to say. All right, guys, love you all, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.